Yo, Nipe here, Millie, back like a bad habit. Um, I know it's supposed to be the blackout today, but I have a topic that, you know, it's, it's been bothering me. It's, it's been bothering me, and I feel as though it's something that, with everything that's going in in America, going on in America that we need to talk about. Um, yesterday and today, I got asked two different questions. Yesterday, I got asked, am I afraid? Today, I got asked, how are you doing? You know, simple questions that honestly, I, I can't answer. Actually, there's one more question I got asked. Um, who do you vent to in situations as a man like this? You know, and I can't answer at least honestly none of those questions right now. No. Um, life sharing subscribe and... Usually, I haven't been doing health checks, but we'll call this a health check video um, because it's something I think, especially in these times, especially for African-American males, that this is something we need to talk about. Um, so I'm going to start with the first question. My friend asked me, am I afraid? Um, context to that was I was supposed to go back out and protest downtown Detroit yesterday, but you know, I was going to go with a friend. But she honestly told me, like, without a group, she feels afraid. And she asked me, was I afraid? And I honestly lied to her and said no. I told her I would be more afraid if something happened to her, which is the truth. But I lied and said I'm not afraid if something happens to myself. And the truth of the matter is I'm always afraid. I'm always afraid, you know. Um, all honesty, I, I I'm in the city where... Things happen all the time with police. And I'm not even just talking about Detroit. I stay I stay next to Detroit. I stay in the outskirts of Detroit in a little township called Dearborn Heights where we, we know how the police are here. I, I what's said doesn't need to be explained. We, we know how they are out here. So, But I've always felt walking out the door, anything could happen to me, you know. It's not even just cops. It's just life in general. But, you know, honestly, I am scared of what's going on in America right now because I don't know how it's going to end. I don't know how it's going to end. Now, I don't know what's going to happen. I could walk outside right now and somebody seen, sees that I was protesting the first day and they're trying to take me to jail. You know, anything can happen to me. And... I feel as though that's where a lot of people are coming from. We don't know what's going to happen when we step out those doors. We don't know. Which leads to my second point. Um, you know, one in our group, HOM, you know, one of you know, one of the leaders asked, like, is everybody all right? And I'm not okay. I'm I'm not okay. And I I I'm I'm far from okay, you know? My boy AK, if you don't watch the Nerd Boys podcast channel, please go check that out. Support the other fellas over there. But my boy AK said it best. is like, who do you vent to? He's tired of going on social media. And we're seeing all this stuff happening in America. And it's weighing down on us. It's weighing down on me. Because it shouldn't get to this point to where people are rioting. It shouldn't have gotten to this point where people are even protesting this. It shouldn't have gotten here. And to be honest with you, I'm sick and tired of seeing it. And when I say I'm sick and tired of seeing it, I mean I'm literally sick. To the point where I don't sleep at night. I'm lying to people saying I'm getting sleep and I'm not. Because I'm up thinking about it. You know? And I don't have people to vent to. I don't. I don't want to always vent to my male friends. Because they're going through it too. My closest friend, my brother JP, my friend for about what? 15 plus years? He has a daughter. He has a wife. I don't want to run to him to tell him how I'm feeling about this situation. And he has to worry about his family. He has to worry about himself coming home. He has to worry about this situation. And then I'm seeing things about Trump talking about basically starting, you know, martial law. Regardless of what anybody felt about that Trump speech, because I, I go on Twitter. A lot of people are like, Trump didn't say that. 
Trump implies it. That was in a clear implied, we're going to enforce martial law. And the problem I'm having with that, the problem I have with our president, period, is that he's so, how do I put this? Because I, I really don't care about you Trump tards. I don't care. I'm not even liberal. I'm far from left. I, I, I can't stand people on the fucking left either. But Trump is so fucking self-serving to himself that he doesn't see the message that everybody is saying. He only sees what's best for him. The problem is, and this is the problem I have with a lot of people. When everybody in the world is basically protesting at this point. Why are y'all continuing to say stupid shit like rioting doesn't do anything yet? When Martin Luther King was assassinated, we rioted for six days straight and then the Civil Rights Act got signed off. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like, I think people forget that part. But I digress. Like, I don't have people to, you know, come to and talk to it about this. And that leads to my third part. Who do who do we vent to? As men, who do we vent to? I'm not even talking about just black men. White men that probably are afraid of their situation. Hispanic men, Asian men, Iraqis. You know, I don't want to disrespect anybody's culture or anything. But, you know, people that are not just black, that are men. Black men. Women. Women... They can vent to each other. Men, we kind of can't. We can't. Because we understand what each other is going through. And we understand the hardships of what it means to be a man. And that's a problem, kind of. Um, me and my boys were making points that, you know, we, if, we don't want to vent to our ladies about everything. Because we, we don't want to scare them. I don't, I don't have a lady, right? I, I'm single. I'm single. But I do have friends that I talk to. I have two. I have three female friends that I talk to. Not dating or nothing. But, you know, I talk to them on a daily basis. You know? I also have my ex that she does watch this channel and she supports me. I don't want to run to none of those. I'm sorry. My mother and my sister as well. My mother and my sisters as well. I don't want to run to any of those ladies and tell them about how I feel. Because I need to be that backbone. I need to be strong for them. And they know, you know, I'm pretty sure every female knows what her man is going through. Every woman, if you truly care about that person or you have any type of feelings towards that person, you know what they're going through. I'm pretty sure, you know, when I was talking to my friend yesterday and I was telling her I wasn't afraid, I'm pretty sure she read through my bullshit super quick. You know? But it's still we. As men, we try to be, especially when we're trying to be great men, we try and put that backbone, we try and put that backpack on of us being tough and not speaking on what we're going through because we don't ever want to worry you. We don't ever, we don't ever want to worry our women. You know, we don't ever want to worry our women because that that to us will hurt us more more than anything. That makes you feel less of a man. And I know that's something that probably men need to change. I'm not going to say all men do this. I'm not going to say all men do this, but some men do need to change it. I know for certain I need to change that because I am a person that I don't like going to people, period, and talking about my feelings. I can say clearly to you, I'm okay, and be straight lying to your face. And you would know I'm lying to your face the whole time because within my other actions and things that I do, it shows that I'm not okay. You know? Um, this is scary time. Scary times. And I really believe that people need to step, take a, take a step back. And actually, you know, talk to people around you. Talk to your circle. Figure out what's going on in your circle. Figure out, are people okay in your circle? Because not everybody is okay with the situations that are going on. This is really mentally 
and do it, it it's taking its toll on mentals. Taking hella tolls on mentals. It's definitely taking a toll on my mental. That's why I'm speaking out about it. That's why I haven't made video game videos because I'm constantly watching and seeing what's going on because I am afraid for my for people in my culture. I'm afraid for people that's not in my culture that's stepping out to help protest. I don't want it to come down to martial law. But, you know, this is it. Um, Nappy Head Millie. You know, I love you guys. Um, I don't know what I'm a title this yet. Like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. If you're new to it, um, you're, new to, you're new to the channel. Um, I I don't know when I'm gonna get back to gameplay videos, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I'm gonna get back to it. This is not. I'm not gonna change my channel due to this situation. But I'm gonna get back to it. I just don't know when. But um, Nappy Head Millie, love you guys. Be safe. Peace.